Welcome to your virtual Meet the Teacher. I am Tracy Nigella, and I'm glad you joined me today. I've got um, a lot of interesting facts about math class this year. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you can see here I have my contact information, my email address, and my phone number readily available for you. If you want to take a quick shot, screenshot of it, you can at this time. Uh, please know that you will have multiple other places where you can get this information um, in, in Canvas and, uh, and actually other places too. So we'll go over that here in just a bit. Um, so welcome to seventh grade math. Uh, if you're watching this and you're a sixth grader, that means that you are in my advanced class and you are also taking seventh grade math. So all of this information pertains to you. And uh, let's talk about what we're going to cover this school year. First of all, uh, please note that uh, this is my actual classroom that you see here. I've, of course, I've got my Bitmoji uh, here. I made a virtual classroom with my actual classroom as a backdrop. So um, my, this is my actual backdrop uh, here. I've, I made a bunch of hexagons this year as a new decoration. Uh, so I hope that that is uh, fun to display some math art. And that's exactly what I think math is. It is beautiful and it is art. And I'm going to show you that this year. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of laughs. And um You'll also notice over here on the right-hand side that we have a little pi symbol, and that's the most famous irrational number that we're going to talk about this year in seventh grade math and all the ways that we use that number. Uh, and yes, on the day that we learn about the irrational number pi, we actually eat pi. So uh, yay for us. Um, let's get jump into what we're going to talk about this entire school year. So I kind of have a year at a glance um, here. We've got our first six weeks where uh, we're going to learn all about the different types of numbers in the rational number set. And uh, we're going to learn how negative and positive numbers work. And we're going to study them very intensely the entire first six weeks. We're going to get really good at them as we practice them all year long how we add, subtract, multiply, and divide our positive and negative numbers. As we enter the second and third six weeks, we're going to start talking about equations. And I actually call equations puzzles because I think they're so much fun. We start practicing with variables and writing equations and solving equations. And um, we get I, I get a big kick out of it. And students really do find this fun. Um, and in the third six weeks, we start dabbling in some geometry concepts, which is my personal favorite. And um, and that's where we start introducing pi. Uh, when we get back from Christmas break in the fourth and fifth six weeks, we start uh, dealing with three dimensional shapes. So we're going to learn about um, surface area and volume of three dimensional shapes. We're going to um, in the fifth six weeks we'll talk about linear relationships. So that means we're going to learn how to graph lines on a graph. Right now you know how to graph a point on a line and, and we're going to just take it up a little notch and we're going to show you how to uh, plot a line. Um, and then we're going to wrap up the school year with probability and a financial literacy course uh, unit. So um, lots of good times ahead and lots of good math jokes, I promise. Some corny ones too, but you know, I do my best. All right, so let's talk about grading. In this course, I have both uh, of the classes that I teach. If you're in my seventh grade regular class, 50% of your homework is your grade and then 50% is tests. Um, in the sixth grade advanced class, 40% is homework, and then your tests are 60%. So I will tell you that in the math department, um, we have we, every test that you take is two days long. So we have a day one of your test in, that you take the test, and uh, and then I circle any of the answers that um, are incorrect, and you'll have actually a day two where you can modify your answer. Maybe you go back and think about it and problem solve a little harder on it, and um, and so you will have that opportunity this year in in your math class. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to just visit with you very quickly about how you as the parent can help your student be better at math. And uh, the first point that I have here is to encourage your student to just do something uh, that that helps their math life every day. So just encourage your student and ask your student, have you worked on any math today? Have you review a math concept with them? Uh, that would be great. Make sure that you're checking Canvas daily for a video lesson and an assignment. And I'm just gonna just real quick um, visit with you about Canvas. This year in Canvas, all of your classes will look very similar to this when you log into your home page in Canvas. This is a typical math uh, uh, home page. And if you will notice, there is a button here that says week at a glance. And every week by four o'clock on Friday, I will have the next week's lesson plans available to you. So you can look ahead and see what your week is going to look like, what topics we're going to cover, what activities we're going to have. Um, so you'll know everything just by clicking this button here in Canvas. You'll also notice that I have a syllabus button right here, just to the right of it. And that's where you're going to get a lot of detailed information about um, makeup work, um, late work, um, all of my policies. So it is, it's, it's a little bit lengthy uh, and it's available to you in Canvas and you're more than welcome to look at it anytime just by pressing this button. In my class, we're going to use IXL quite a bit to practice our math skills. And I've got an easy link right here in Canvas. Um, I also use Google Classroom. And um, I'm about to mention to all the parents, if you will make sure and check Skyward every week um, and just make sure that your student is turning in their work. It is my commitment to you to have all of that week's uh, assignments entered into Skyward word by four o'clock on Friday afternoon. So every week when you look into Skyward, you should be able to see what your students real picture. It's an accurate look at what your student is doing in math class. Okay, back to uh, I think we already talked about checking Skyward every week. Uh, and I want to mention this last um, bullet point, which is please have a positive attitude about math in your home. Um, a lot of times there I do I do get the feeling that uh, there's a negative attitude about math. And uh, if, if you'll just hold those comments to yourself and, and, and give your student a chance to thrive and, and have a really positive outlook on math, because I promise this year we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot and we're gonna have fun in math class all right uh, thank you for helping me at home all right so what do you need in your seventh grade math class well uh, I'm glad you asked I have a supply list right here um, every day you're gonna need a sharpened pencil a MacBook and their charger You'll need to have earbuds so that way if you need to listen to the lesson again, I record every single lesson every single day. So you can always listen to the lesson live in class. And then when you get home, if you want to listen to it again, you may. Um, that's available to you. Make sure that you come with your math journal and your highlighter. We highlight a lot in seventh grade math and, uh, and we take a lot of notes. And you'll notice that I put a good attitude on here twice because we need really good attitudes. And um, this year we had to add, um, please um, wear a mask and bring some san hand sanitizer. I'll have my, our class supply as well when you enter the classroom We'll have a different procedure as we enter the classroom this year. Okay. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to be with you. I know we're going to have a productive, rewarding year. So stay tuned, and um, my class mini tour is up next. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is the beginning of our school year. Good vibes only. So I'm gonna give you a quick little tour. Here's the classroom. Uh, you are greeted by a mandala. There in the back of the classroom, I've got hexagons. If you'll notice, let's see if I can zoom in. We've got a math joke of the week 
and uh, that's our whiteboard where I'll have a lot of information. Um, that's pretty much my station back there. And uh, I'm gonna zoom back out. Uh, that is our active board and they're big, beautiful active boards. And then we'll, we'll have a word wall. We'll start with the number system this year. So I can't wait to get started, guys. Whoop, whoop. This is the math crib. Thank you.